Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, police at theme aware uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and now I come to the topic what is police at theme aware or also known as PV you know you know it's a a rare bone marrow disorder and in this condition the body produces too many red blood cells and as you know the red blood cells are responsible for carrying oxygen to all parts of the body so the blood is carried uh, throughout your body by a system of the veins and the arteries and when uh, there is too little or uh, I mean, it's just too many red blood cells in your blood. It becomes thick, and uh, flow uh, is slowed down, and the red blood cells can begin to form the clots within those blood vessels. And uh, the clots are formed when the large amounts of the red blood cells clump together. Now, this polycythemia vera. It can lead to the life-threatening complications if it's not treated and uh, slow flowing blood and the blood clots can keep the oxygen from reaching your heart, your brain and other vital organs. So as the blood clots, it can cause serious damage to the organs. Now there's no known cure for this condition, uh, but this condition can be managed with the treatment and the treatment focuses on the routine blood draw, uh, draws and using the medications to prevent the serious blood clots and uh, the blood thinning medications. Now, you know, the early symptoms, uh, they often cause common physical ailments uh, that may be easy to overlook uh, them, you know, but the untreated uh, polycythemia vera may cause the blood clots, which can lead to the serious complications. And uh, the common symptoms may include fatigue, it may include itching, it may include difficulties with the uh, activities, difficulty with the concentration, and maybe the abdominal discomfort. Now, if the early symptoms uh, are not noticed, then your doctor may not discover the condition until the blood clot causes serious complication. So in these uh, cases, the complication is the first sign that something is going wrong. Uh, you know, it's a rare blood disorder uh, that occurs more than, uh, more mostly in men uh, than in women. So it's rarely seen in uh, anyone under the age of 40. And uh, polycythemia vera is usually associated with the gene mutation called JAK2V617F. Uh, so. The JAK2 gene in handles uh, it handles like production of the protein that helps make the blood cells, and about 95% of the people with this condition have this mutation. Now, mutations are the uh, changes or uh, the damage in the body's DNA, uh, and DNA as you know is responsible for all the physical characteristics, from eye color to the fingerprints you know so the mutation that causes the polycythemia vera can be acquired which means that something has damaged the dna instead of being born with this you know and passed on within families so the more research is needed in this area you know and if you have this condition the genetic mutation causes uh, causes your bone marrow to produce too many red blood cells and the production of the red blood cells within your bone marrow is normally is tightly regulated and having too many red blood cells in your bloodstream can cause the blood to thin, uh, to clot it easily, and it can lead to the uh, serious complications. Now, the risk of the developing this serious complications it depends on how likely you are to develop the blood clot, and there are certain factors that can uh, increase the risk of the development of the clots uh, in this condition, and which may include like the history of the previous blood clots, uh, your age if it's you're over fifty, uh, over sixty years. Uh, high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, smoking, and high cholesterol. So these are the risk factors. 
Uh, if your doctor suspects that you might have this condition, uh, they will order the blood tests called complete blood count and more commonly known as CBC, you know. So the complete blood count measures the factors in your blood like number of red blood cells, number of white blood cells, number of the platelets, uh, and the amount of the hemoglobin, uh, which is a protein that carries the oxygen, and the percentage of the space taken up by the red blood cells in the blood, which is known as uh, hematocrit, you know. So these are the most uh, common tests which uh, your doctor will order to if he suspects that you have this condition. And uh, along with these uh, blood tests, you know, uh, your doctor may also want the bone marrow biopsy uh, to confirm the diagnosis. Now once diagnosed, then the treatment, uh, uh, you know, mostly it, it's a chronic condition, you know, and uh, it doesn't happen uh, quickly, you know, so uh, it cannot be cured. So the only way to treat the disease is uh, through the management and through the prevention. So your doctor will prescribe the treatment based on your uh, risk for the development of the blood clots, like uh, maybe low risk, uh, like in, in the low risk people, the treatment of those uh, uh, may include the regular uh, blood drawn, you know, uh, known as uh, a phlebotomy and low dose aspirin which is a blood thinner and uh, the blood is withdrawn regularly and the complete blood count are run until uh, there is a decrease in the number of the red blood cells so your doctor may also prescribe the low dose aspirin to keep blood thin and in, in, in the people who are at high risk group you know uh, maybe on top of the regular doses of the uh, aspirin and uh, uh, is I mean the blood is drawn regularly, uh, you may require more specialized treatments uh, using the medications like uh, hydroxyurea or uh, maybe uh, like uh, interferon alpha and uh, uh, other medications, you know. Now, interferon alpha uh, can be used off-label. So it's not, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's not advised, you know, but the off-label use helps sometimes. And uh, like, uh, but it has some side effects that may include like lowering the blood counts too much, you know, or maybe bleeding or maybe infection, the increased risk of certain skin cancer, so and high cholesterol. So you need to be very careful uh, while using that one. Uh, and other treatment is uh, like hydroxyurea. Uh, is a chemotherapy drug that uh, its function is that it suppresses the production of the red blood cells. So your doctor may prescribe this one. Uh, the next thing is uh, about uh, the complications, you know. You know, doctors may not discover uh, this uh, polycythemia or vera until after a blood clot causes a serious complications and there can be fatal if left untreated, you know. And both clots can form in the arteries and it can also form in the veins, you know. And the arteries are the uh, blood vessels that carry the oxygenated blood uh, from the heart uh, to the body parts and uh, the veins are the blood vessels that carry the deoxygenated blood from the cells to the heart and then it's pumped to the lungs to, for the cleaning, you know. And the complications may include like heart attack, maybe deep vein thrombosis, uh, ischemic or maybe the mini stroke and pulmonary embolism. So pulmonary embolism when the blood clot happens in the lungs, you know, and it affects, and uh, maybe stroke when the, there's a clot reaches to the brain, you know. And uh, the hemorrhagic death uh, usually uh, from the stomach or the other parts of the digestive tract, you know. So the portal hypertension, which means the increased high blood pressure within the liver. So these are the possible complications. Uh, 
it's a chronic condition we cannot cure it uh, but we can uh, simply we can manage it if we know that thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel thank you and goodbye